Hi guys, I'm back on the cross today. This farmer's rung me, he's seen about 80 to 100 crows and his sheep and lambs every day. And when I come and, you know, try and sort a few out. So I've come with my Seiko 223. It's an eight twist this, with a 24 inch barrel. I've got a Swarovski 6 by 24 by 50 on the top. I'm filming through a Tacticam. I've got a Wildcat Evo silencer on the end. And uh, I've not got Jack today because it's a good mile walk to where I am. And this is the morning to when I'm shooting the pigeons in the afternoon. So if Jack had come here, he'd have been too tired to shoot pigeons in the afternoon. So I'm saving Jack for this afternoon. So that's why he's not here. And uh, I'm on this ground here. I've got a, I'm going to shoot at the like, bottom of an hill. It's 100% safe shooting. All the sheep and lambs have separated a bit, which is even better. So everything's spot on. It's a cracking day, it's end of May. It's about half past five in the morning. <laughs> and uh, yeah, cracking time of year. I actually love this time of year. So if everything goes to plan, I should get a few. It's now about half an hour later, and I'm just led here watching the world go by, listening to all our rare nesting birds. And to be honest with you, it just gets no better. You know, this time of year, as I've said, is absolutely brilliant. And then the first crow lands. This crow is 235 yards. And I've got just short of four inch bullet drop at this distance. So I have to dial the scope up 10 clicks to allow for the bullet drop. And I also dial five clicks right to allow for the wind drift. Nice one, first one down. It are only about 235 yards, but uh, yeah, nice start to the day. I'm, uh, I'm gonna go out now and put it up as a decoy. And hopefully I should get a few more in that area. Here, I'm just going out to the crow I've just shot. But I've also fetched two full-bodied crow decoys. And these decoys do work quite good. As you'll see later on. They're like a bit of a, like a velvet covered. I forgot what they're called now, but they are quite good. And uh, I've got the crow I've just shot now. And I just put this out with a stick that I find. I just get a stick and put it under its chin and hold its head up. And it just makes it look more realistic, I suppose. I do sometimes get fussy where I'm putting them. Not as it matters like, but... <laughs> I like to put it exactly where I think it should be. And now I'm just uh, in a nice friendly way, just shooing off the farmer's sheep and lambs because we don't want to be shooting a sheep and lamb. You can tell now by the noise that these crows don't like them decoys. You know, they're dive bombing them, they're mobbing them. And it's only a matter of time now before I get another shot.
he's down. Nice one. That one come down to the decoy I've just shot. And I'm already dialed in, so absolutely perfect. Yeah, I'm starting to like these 53 grain D-Max. I mean, I do know they shoot brilliant. But, uh, yeah, good bullet. This is probably one of the best mornings of the year I've been out. And, uh, yeah, this is brilliant. You know, you can't beat it. You know, I'm away from everything. Away from life, away from work. I just miss not having Jack with me. I wish Jack were there, really, but... What can I do? I just can't do anything, can I? It's just life, innit? But uh, I'm going to be honest with you, I'm thinking again another. And uh, I might get a bitch this time and call it Jill. <laughs> and uh, train is just same, you know. And hopefully I should have another dog soon, but I don't like talking like that while Jack's still alive, but he's old now, Jack. He's getting on 14. And it's a shame, but just what it is. Sad, really. Nice one. I've got these decoys out because uh, it is quite safe ground here shooting, but I can get the crows exactly where I want them and they're 100% safe shots because sometimes when I just lie and wait, you know, they can sometimes land where they're not safe to shoot. So if I decoy them now, I get them to exactly where I want them, 100% safe, happy days. I have a crow here, probably 350 yards, but it's near the top of an hill, and there's a sheep and lamb there, so I can't just take the shot. I probably be okay, but probably doesn't come into it when you're using the centerfire rifle. You've got to be safe. So this is a lucky crow. I have been thinking of swapping this 223. For the new Seiko 90 but uh, I don't need to really you know this rifle don't get me wrong I've put a few bullets to it but it still shoots just like the day I bought it so I've no need to swap it really but do you know when you get this itch for a new rifle I've got an itch <laughs> so I'm like that but if my local gun shop watching now if he's right with me I'll buy one <laughs> I like to listen to the curlews. Anyway, I think that's it really. I've had four shots, four crows. It's been a cracking day. And uh, I've missed Jack Light, but like I say, I'm going on the pigeons today with Jack this afternoon, so I've saved Jack for that. So I'm going to pack up now and uh, hopefully have a good do this afternoon. Because the wind's picking up, which is brilliant for pigeons. So yeah, I've had a good morning. I could have a good afternoon. I've gone. I've not really seen the curlews all day, but they're back. They're using this behind me down here. But anyway, I've gone. Oh, you bastard. There are decoys there. This is the first one I put out as a decoy. This is the second one here that comes to the decoy. Over here somewhere. Just here.
53V Max seem to be working nice. That rip for that morning, and it wasn't a bad result really. I did shoot four crows, but I forgot to press record on one of the shots, so that rip. And finally, it just wouldn't be the same without my best mate and spotter appearing in one of these videos. And here he is. I'm on a different mood here, but I control the vermin just the same. And you get to find out here now what happened to that crow that were blowing about in that tree. Here, I was checking the C50 Zero on another Seiko rifle, and this magpie landed. And magpies cause as much damage as crows, especially to our rare nesting bird eggs. So, I think you know the outcome. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will see you all soon. And hopefully, me and my best mate should have a good time on the pigeons. See you later. Perfect. I've got this rifle set up to 500 yards using it. And uh, today I'm probably only shooting no further than 300 yards. Uh oh, fucking camera bomb. Nice one. These uh, 53 VMAX. They're working brilliant. Bloody hell's that? <laughs> Fox is always marked where I lie. I've noticed over the years and years that everywhere I lie and shoot from, when I come back, it always smells of fox. The fox actually marks over where I lie. It's quite funny, really. It's like they're playing a game with me. 